Hello everybody, welcome to the Java Script course. In this video, I'm going to discuss the way to sense the submission of a form. We have two ways to do so. The first way is to use the submit event. The event is going to wait for somebody to start the submission of a form. And the other way is called the submit method. We can generate a submit action by using the submit method. Now, let's go to the HTML file first. The HTML file has a number of elements. First, I have a title here, and in the body part, I have a form, and a drop-down list, okay, followed by some divisions, okay. And I want to link the JavaScript file to the uh, HTML file. The JavaScript file is called my script.js, which is put in the JS folder, okay. And you can see the hierarchy of the files on the left-hand side of the uh, editor, okay? And let us go to the JavaScript file. In order for me to use the strict mode, I have to say use strict on the first line of the JavaScript file. So if I want to submit a form, I can use the submit event to help me do so. It tries to wait for someone to initiate the submission. So let us try to focus on the form first. The form has a button called click to submit together with a text box. So we can see the form here. The input box together with the submit button. Okay. The type of it is, it's of course, submit. Okay. Then how can we use the submit event to do the submission? Let us try this example now. Now I can set up an event listener to the form itself. So if the form has caught the submit event, I just tell the computer to do some function like this one. I want to set up an anonymous function. And the anonymous function has to pass the event object as the argument. And the event is going to do something like this. Alert submitted. That means I want to show an alert window when the submit action is being caught by JavaScript. So when the submit button is clicked, the submit event will be triggered. So when I click on that button, the event will be triggered and I'm able to show the submitted alert window. So let, let us see. Save. Reload. So even though I don't have anything, when I just click on that button called click to submit, you can see that the alert window has come out to say submitted. That means when this button is already clicked, the submit event can be triggered and your action can just send this form to the other side of the world. Okay. So we have to check that whether that button is really clicked or not. If it is clicked, the submit action can be um, triggered, okay? So in order for me to really submit a form, we can just press the Enter key or we can use the mouse press to send the form. So if I just use Enter instead of clicking on that button, you can see that the submission can still be triggered, okay? So you can use the Enter key or the mouse press to do so. Another way to do the submission is use the submit method. It just generates a submit action. So how can I do so? Let us go to this current example. So I've used the query selector to collect this drop-down list shown here. Okay. And I want to add an event listener to the drop-down list. When something has been input to the drop-down list, I want to call a function called send to server. So this is a hypothetical function that I'm going to show up. And then I also pick up the division underneath the drop down list. And I want to show something on the division. So let us see the example now. Okay, this is the function to be used. The hypothetical function is called send to server. So I need to pass an event object into it. And then in this function, I'm going to pick up all the uh, drop-down lists. 
and then in this function I'm going to pick up the first drop down list and in that drop down list I'm going to pick up all the f options so I use the options keyword to help me pick up all the choices available on that particular drop down list okay so I'm able to pick up all these four options okay so my choices is really a collection okay to store all the options available on that particular drop down list and then I want to loop over all the elements on the collection and if I find that any of the choices is really selected in this case the selected property will become true and then I show to indicate that particular option is selected and then I can use submit method to indicate that I want to submit the original form which is just this form okay so when that thing is already selected I'm able to just submit the form above okay which is this form okay and then after the submission I can say that the form is submitted okay so that means in my case I don't need to use the my division okay so let us go to the web page again and run the program save reload so when I choose the second one for example like this, this one you can see that I can just say that uh, this is already selected called TypeScript okay so the value here is meaning that one TypeScript so I show the value of that option okay and after that of course I can do the submission by using the submit method and after the submission I can show an alert window saying that the form is really submitted okay of course this is a hypothetical example I really didn't uh, send something to the outside world but I can still show that the submit method is able to generate a submit action by the JavaScript itself rather than by human action okay So this video has already talked about the ways to submit a, a form. We can use the submit event and we can trigger the submit event by using the uh, event listener. And after the event has been triggered, I can do some function to do the submission. Okay. Also, I can use the submit method. Okay. So I can do the submission by calling the submit method when some condition is met. This is the end of the video. If you have any questions about my video, please leave your questions on the comment section below the video. If you like this video, please give me a like and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.